Hey everyone, Erica here, Barefoot Instructor, and we're gonna do a deep stretch class today. Go ahead and join me down on our mats. So if you have a strap um, or a band, or even if you have a long sleeve shirt um, that you don't mind putting a little bit of pressure on, you might wanna grab that. Today we're gonna to focus on shoulders a little bit more than usual. <clears throat> So I found that I can use just a long sleeve shirt that's a nice and strong garment that doesn't, um, that I'm not afraid I'm gonna rip it or break it if I don't have any exercise materials at home. So this is always an option. Um, if you're like me, you might have been in front of the computer a lot um, during these past few months and I'm feeling that pressure in my shoulders and in my um, scapulas, a lot of rounding over. So we're gonna try and focus on that a little bit more today than usual. So in the example that we have our long sleeve shirt, <clears throat> you bring it behind you and you walk your hands together until you've got a nice tightness um, that feels good for mobilizing up to the top of the head and down. And I'm gonna to switch to my strap since I have one here. Um, the strap, because of the elasticity, as you do this exercise a few times, you can optionally bring those hands in a little closer because there is still a give in the strap, whereas there might not be in your fabric. So I prefer to use this, but I certainly use other random textiles in my home whenever I don't have my strap. This one is just really extraordinary to help me start to get into my back and my scapula and release any tensions in the shoulders. Of course, if you have a shoulder injury uh, or have previously had a so shoulder injury, you can space your hands all the way out to make this a lot easier. Um, and also, if there's some spaces that really don't feel good to go through, you can just find a spot that feels good and pulse back and forth in that one area. So no pressure. Make this what you want it to be. Make it something that feels good for your body. And after you've explored in this back space, just moving up and down, keeping that strap parallel to the ground for some time, maybe 10 reps. Then we can take it behind our back and start to stretch in diagonal lines. So again, you can keep it nice and shallow, finding that nice perfect diagonal here, or if you wanna overstretch a little bit, keep bringing that top arm up by the ear, keep bringing that lower arm down by the hip, and sometimes when I'm really mobile, I even like to take a lateral stretch here. So again, these are all options. Listen to your body. Um, see what your back, scaps, and shoulders need today. I also, from the lateral reach, sometimes like to walk my hands closer together and then contract and round over into the front space bringing that strap back up and starting over to get to that other side. So take a few more breaths to explore here. Moving on. So we're just gonna face the front here, tuck one leg in, take the other leg out long. We're gonna bring one arm behind our back, and then we're gonna take our other hand into a fist, placing it inside our hand that we've reached all the way behind our back. And then we're gonna start to tuck that elbow back, 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 until you feel the stretch in your shoulder. If it's too much pressure for you, just leave it out. On every exhale, try to inch it in. If it feels really good, then go ahead and stretch it all the way back. I'm gonna show you the side view. Again, you can be out here or all the way back, whatever feels nice for you. I got this hand in the fist. Um, I also like to work through my head and neck a lot while I'm doing the stretch. So I'll drop it to one side and then the other, just like our strap exercise, sometimes I'll take a little lateral reach, 
So listen to your body. We're just simply gonna switch our legs. If you need to undo your hands for that switch, you absolutely can. Same thing, same side arm. The experience should be slightly different depending on which leg you have extended out. So if you did work through the head and neck, you might want to repeat those things again with the other leg extended. From here, our hand that is um, closest to our bent knee, we're going to release and reach out away from the body. Then we take our opposite hand, taking our hips forward, and we're going to circle nice and slow three times. You know, I like following that top arm with my head and my focus. That is an option for you if it feels good. And after we do three whole circles, it's like I'm going to shampoo my hair on the last one. And I'm really pushing my palm into my um, underside of my head close to my ear and then pulling that elbow back. So again, working through the shoulders, really focusing on shoulders today. As always, you can experiment. Add some other movement here if that feels good for you. And I like to release by contracting, extending that top arm, rounding over and bring it back up to neutral. We're gonna go ahead and keep our legs where they are though. And we're gonna start with the other side. So the arm that you didn't have in the fist, reaching behind your back. Now take your opposite hand into a fist, sticking that fist into that hand that's extended, ready to take in, and then pulling that elbow back. Now you might find that one shoulder is quite a bit tighter than the other. So maybe on one side, that elbow still hanging out to the side body and on the other side you're nice and tucked, that's fine. Again, just always using your breath. So if you are out here um, on your inhale, prepare on your exhale. Try to get that elbow back a little further. Option to explore through the head and neck. And keeping the same arms, switching the legs. Again, you want to make sure we're equal on both sides. So if you did take a neck and head exploration, go ahead and add that back on with the other leg extended. It will have at least a slightly different sensation. And then we're gonna release the hand that's in a fist. We're, or we're gonna, we're let, well, rather, we're gonna release the hand that's on the bent side leg. I forget how I gave the instructions to start. Reaching that hand all the way out. And then our other arm circles up top, taking those nice big circles. Again, I like to follow that arm with my head and neck and focus. We're gonna do that for three times, and then after the third one, our top arm is going to sort of shampoo our hair, taking a hold of the head on the underside close to the ear, opening up the sternum, pulling back the elbow, really getting into that shoulder. Option to change your focus. And top arm comes forward as you contract and come down. When we get back down to our mat, we're gonna extend our legs to one side. Um, get those sits bones planted, nice long spine, reach forward for the feet. Again, we're gonna use our breath here. So deep breath in. Exhale, try to move the chest closer to the legs. Deep breath in. Exhale, deep breath in, 
Exhale, get it as close as you can. You can push through the balls of your feet to sort of rock your body. I like to use this tool whenever I'm extra stiff. Usually I can rest my upper body all the way to my legs. Since I'm not there today, I like to add this little bit of pulsation and it's gonna help me really settle into my pose. When you're finished, we're gonna bend those knees. Take those arms behind those. So our fingertips are facing our sits bones or our feet. And the first thing we're gonna do is open our chest and our sternum to the sky. On our inhale, on our exhale, contract and round over. You can even let those shoulders shrug up here, which we normally don't wanna do. We usually try and keep nice space between the ears and the shoulders. And now here's for the real shoulder stretch, keeping those hands nice and tight in, sending everything up to a bridge. Now, you can relax your head back if that feels good for you. You can add your mobility side to side. We're just really gonna focus on keeping those hips lifted keeping the elbows pulling in toward each other, you should feel a big stretch in the shoulders here. And on the next exhale, set it down. Lengthening those legs back out in front of you, reaching down through the balls of the feet again. Keeping one arm attached or one hand attached to the foot, opposite arm comes out. It's gonna thread through, keeping that really nice and close to the body, turning and looking over the shoulder. If you want to take it deeper, sending that hand through and look under the arm. Switch other side. Same hand, side hand connected to foot. Opposite arm comes out, threading it through, keeping it nice and close, turning and looking over the shoulder. Option to take it deeper. And we're gonna take it all the way down to our back. Stretching our fingertips away from our toes. I like to shake out my legs. And then we're gonna flip it over. Find me your way back center to your mat again. Baby Cobra. Circling the head. One way and then the other. You can stay here or option to push it up to up dog. You can stay here where you can tap hips down one side and then the other. You can add motion back to the head and neck. And then we're all going to meet in child's pose. So for the shoulder stretch that I frequently do in class, we're gonna repeat that one again today. Keeping one arm out in front of you overhead, taking that other arm free and threading it through, palm facing the sky. So there's very many different layers to this, so I'm gonna show you. You can just simply set the body down. If you feel a shoulder stretch here, great. If not, you can really push to force that underarm through a little bit deeper. Put that shoulder back down on the mat. That should be a little bit more extreme. You can also take the top arm off, pressing the palm like you're drilling it into the floor. Turn and pull away with the upper body, opening the sternum to the ceiling. Sometimes this does the trick. And then last, the one that I use is the combination of deepening the arm stretch through on the underside, walking my fingertips back behind my head on the top side. So it's gonna end up and result in sort of a funny pose and posture that I'm in, as you can see. 
but it feels amazing in the shoulder. So find which level you're at on this side today and stay here for a few deep breaths. When you're ready, we're gonna reset by taking a few breaths in our child's pose. You always have the option to move your hands somewhere else if it feels better for you. Keeping those feet nice and close together, sending those knees apart. Get a little bit more stretch in the hip flexors here. When you're ready, taking those knees back into parallel. And we'll switch to the same stretch on the other side. So keeping your opposite arm out overhead, next side reaches through. And remember all the different ways, you can simply set it down. We can stretch that arm that's underneath deeper. We can take the top hand to the palm, drill the hand into the floor, turn and pull away, opening the sternum to the sky. Or my personal favorite, top arm fingertips walk back behind your head to get that nice deep stretch. When you finish, we're gonna come back through child's pose. Bring it up to tabletop. Exhale, contract, glue the belly button to the spine. And arch head away from tail. One more time here. Head to tail connection circles. Remember, there's no right or wrong way to explore this one way and then the other. Just find a relationship between your head and your tail. Find some circles, hang out in areas where you think you need a little bit more attention. Taking those toes down, setting the hips up for a quick down dog. Spreading your toes out, reaching your heels back to the mat. Exhaling and releasing sternum head through the arms. Softening in the elbows. And lengthening. Lifting the heels. Bending the knees. Sending the heels back. Lengthening through. When you're finished, we're gonna put one leg down to the mat, just getting ourselves positioned to face the front again. So if this position is really uncomfortable for you, you can and should modify here. So you wanna be seated in a way that's really comfortable and you can naturally keep a nice long spine. So if you're the type of person that rounds over here, you can do anything, it doesn't matter what your leg shape looks like just so long as you feel like you have a lot of control on top. So, I'm gonna take those arms, swinging them across and open. Option to reach up to those diagonals. Catch one arm across the front. And 
switch other side. And switch, first arm, bend that elbow, send it back to the back of the room, arm comes right underneath the chin. Switch. Switch overhead. Last time overhead. So for our last exercise, we're gonna take our arms in front of us here by ourselves, a hug. So you're like grabbing your shoulders on each side. You can add some twisting. Then, whichever arm you naturally put underneath, you're gonna swoop it up and try and grab the top arm. So I don't know what we call this in yoga because I'm not a yogi. <laughs> this feels really great in the shoulders. So you might notice everyone's hands will be different. Some people might barely be hanging on by a pinky. Some people might be really way more enclosed than I am. Well, wherever you are, it's totally right, and it's gonna help you get the shoulder stretch you need today. I'm just gonna slightly pivot so I can see you. So, from here, keeping everything nice and central, we're going to bring the elbows up, open and shine the sternum to the ceiling, and then on our exhale, we're gonna curve everything in, drawing the elbows to the navel. Again, Again, experiment with how much you pull those elbows away from the body as you execute this because that's going to feel different in your shoulders. Last one. If you want, you can switch to the other foot being in front and then you're going to give yourself a hug, making sure that your second side arm is underneath. You can add some twisting. And then go ahead and re-grab. If you're like me, you'll notice one side's gonna be better than the other. Better. Um, don't worry about that so much. As long as you feel stretch in your shoulder, that's all that matters. So from here, opening that sternum, focus to the ceiling and exhale. Elbows come to navel. Three more. Remember to experiment with pulling the elbows out and away from the body. Last one. we're finished. I hope you enjoyed loosening up your shoulders with me today and I'll see you at the same time next week.